First off, I want to agree with Senator Graham. This is partly a pretext to try to conceal the utter failures of Joe Biden and the Democratic Party. I mean, because all of you voted for $3 trillion of spending that this country didn't need and that our government can't afford, we have record high inflation. People can't afford their groceries. They can't afford gas. They can't pay the rent. They can't make car payments. The young men and women we have sitting behind us can barely walk to their apartments on Capitol Hill at night without worried about being mugged or drive there without fear of being carjacked because of your insane criminal justice policies. Our border is totally open. Each year under Joe Biden has seen more illegal border crossings than the last, setting record after record after record. These are not all poor, struggling migrant workers from Guatemala coming here for a better life thousands of people from China and Russia. Even the administration has acknowledged over 100 Uzbeks came here with the help of an ISIS-associated facilitator in Turkey. And their position is, honestly, maybe it's just a coincidence that these Uzbeks used a travel agent associated with ISIS. And that's to say nothing about what's happened around the world the collapse of Afghanistan in 2021, Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, the worst massacre of Jews since the Holocaust in 2023, all under Joe Biden's watch. I know the Democrats on this committee like to claim that the former president unleashed chaos in the world. None of that happened on Donald Trump's watch. Maybe he offended your European friends for using the wrong fork tea and crumpets at some point, but there's peace and stability when he was president. So part of this is just a pretext to cover up for your own utter failings and competence of the Biden administration. But it's more than just that. It's not, as Senator Whitehouse says, an effort to expose wrongdoing at the Supreme Court. It's an effort to delegitimize the Supreme Court because you don't like the way they rule. When you lose at the ballot box for years, you tried to achieve in courts what you couldn't achieve through democratic elections and legislatures. You thought the Supreme Court was your own special province. And then when there became a center-right majority on the Supreme Court, you began to attack its very foundations. There's not some secret. It's wide out and open. Chuck Schumer has gone to the steps of the Supreme Court and threatened justices by name that they wouldn't know what hit them if they ruled in ways that the Democratic Party didn't like. In May of 2022, the unprecedented action of leaking the Supreme Court decision in the Dobbs case occurred, unleashing left-wing street militias outside of justices' homes. Justice Alito, the author of that opinion, says that he thinks he knows who it was, and he thinks it was done on purpose to assassinate a Supreme Court justice to stop the Dobbs decision from coming down. Merrick Garland did nothing to stop these left-wing street militias as they blatantly violated federal law protesting outside the homes of justices about a pending matter. In fact, he directed the Marshal Service to make no arrests. I mean, he lied about it to Congress, exposed by Senator Britt from Alabama. It all culminated where it naturally was with a left-wing hitman traveling from California to the Capitol region and being caught outside Brett Kavanaugh's home with things like zip ties, tactical knives, pepper spray, hammers, screwdrivers, Nail punches, crowbars, duct tape, pistol lights, boots padded for stealthiness, and a Glock 17 pistol. Even after that left-wing hitman was caught outside Justice Kavanaugh's home, the White House continued to refuse to enforce the law, indeed, to celebrate these left-wing street militias. The White House spokeswoman even said, we certainly do continue to encourage 
that, the protests, outside judge's home. That's the president's position. That's what this entire episode is about. Not about getting to the bottom of behavior that's permitted by law and permitted by rule, but continuing your brazen and outrageous campaign against the Supreme Court because you don't like the way it rules. You all ought to be ashamed of yourself because you're the ones who always profess how you're defending our democracy. You're the ones undermining our democracy. As Senator Graham said, things are going to be different here starting next Thursday. But not just that, the shoe will be on the other foot one day. Go ahead, issue this subpoena. See what happens when we take back the majority. See which one, see which subpoenas we start to issue for the left-wing activists and billionaires who are behind all of your agitprop campaigns, who probably help fund those left-wing street militias outside justices' homes, who help fund the anti-Semitic wing of the Democratic Party protesting on college campuses, and even in this Capitol complex. Go ahead, issue your subpoena next week. We'll see what happens when we take back the majority.